Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are going to be installing a yard drain. Uh, people call it a French drain, yard drain. And what we're doing is we are picking up all the water that comes down this hill through that retaining wall and it just pools up right here. And we're going to trench starting over there at the patio, catch basin, line comes around, turns and goes all the way out to the street. We'll pick up the downspouts over here where they throw in some gravel. We will put uh, the French drain. We're going to use the easy flow and perforated pipe surrounded by gravel. Comes down, turns, it'll tee into the line here and continue on out to the street. A great project for the do-it-yourselfer. Um, you could do it by hand. We're going to run a trencher. Remember that when you run a trencher or even if you don't run a trencher make sure that you get your utilities located you see here's the gas line right here yellow marking you can see here's the electric line here's the meter <laughs> that gas line comes across and you can see here's the gas meter over here too but here's the water you can see when it rains it's just been flooding right up into the little patio up towards their house and also back in here you can see the crack across the patio that is caused from water that's all water damage so a real good project to help save lots of money in the future so let's go ahead and get started you know you can rent a trencher from home depot or from sunbelt local tool rental for less than a hundred dollars the savings in time is tremendous, well worth doing. On another quick note, don't forget about our live help. We've got Skype set up. Um, all you need to do is put Skype onto your phone. You can easily show us your drainage problem or what you're planning to do and can help you with all aspects of your install. Everything from materials, of how to do something, um, what will work, what won't work, Please feel free to use the Skype for any questions that you have. And don't forget that we do travel out of our area. Yeah, there's an associated cost, but if you cannot find a contractor that you trust or feel confident in doing your job, please give us a call. We'll be happy to take a look and help you out. Okay, so we've got the main trench uh, dug out. Trencher makes pretty quick work of that. Still took, you know, about 20 minutes to dig all the way down through here. And the reason you see a gap between the trenches is right over here is a water line. And this is unmarked. Although they have a blue marking for the city line, which is running you know, down through there, they do not mark the homeowner's line. However, you can see that excessive green. That kind of helps us. We know that line's coming across here somewhere. So we had to hand dig you know, from here to where I have the trencher. You can see the nice clean trench as it runs all the way out and where we'll put the pop-up. So we're gonna connect, you can see all the water that's pulled up along this retaining wall. And we're gonna put our perforated pipe, people call it the French drain, with a couple of catch basins in here. Bring that over, it'll tie into this line. We're also gonna pick up the downspout right here, bring that over. We'll pick up this back down spout as well, right here, and a small area of trenching across the gas line and the electric line to where I started to trench this morning. And we'll put a catch basin back there. So again, a pretty straightforward job, something the homeowner could easily do themselves. Save yourself a couple thousand really quick. You know, sometimes you will find obstacles underground that are really tough. This is a huge piece of quartz, a giant stone, and we had to use a hammer drill. You could use a pick or a pry bar to get through this. A lot of noise out here. This is actually quartz and pretty hard stuff, but hammer drill's getting through it, so we'll keep working okay, on it. So you can see we released that water that was back there by the back porch and it's just flowing great right down through our trench. It'll come on out and Chuck just opened up the water from over here and you can see it just 
flowing really nice coming around all the way out it's perfect okay, all the so way out. we've got our pipe pretty much installed we're going to come right out here to the end and we'll cut that off and we'll put a pop-up right there by the driveway but we've got all the line installed now we are getting ready to backfill but well first we need to put some gravel on top of our perforated pipe and even though we use that easy flow which I really like we just use 10 feet of it so you can see we put perforated pipe here with our catch basins we've surrounded that with gravel and we're just going to put a little bit of gravel right there at the beginning of that line here we've got the downspout connected comes in a T there line comes all the way back to the back connected this downspout a T had to go through that rock right here remember that rock comes over catch basin gravel perforated pipe right to the beginning of the line where we have another catch basin surrounded by gravel and that'll pick up all this water that's been flooding you know off of the patio but remember how the system works if you got a catch basin that picks up immediate surface water runoff so as it comes you know down that hill you know any water that's pooling in the yard will drop into your catch basins the gravel perforated pipe picks up subsurface water so water that's remaining in the yard that seeps down that water will rise back up and go into your system and then flow all the way out to the street when you use the easy flow remember that styrofoam peanuts so you know it's it's encased in fabric so you can easily just cover that right back up I really like the easy flow remember that 10 feet of it it's about 55 bucks so it's very expensive five bucks a foot for material is just it's outrageous but it does work really good gravel perforated pipe you know it's less than I don't know a dollar a foot if that um, probably 70 cents a foot so a lot cheaper to, to run gravel perforated pipe anyways we have our system installed and now we're getting ready to backfill and cover I'm gonna make a cable uh, TV repair back here and we'll call AT&T or whoever it is let them make a permanent repair so at the end of the line we put a pop-up if you remember this is a pop-up emitter as water comes down the line it just lifts up that little lid and disperses of course it's going to come out here on the driveway and go on out into the street so now we're ready to backfill the last little section of this line move some soil around back and we're done so we picked up you know all that roof from the garage side front and back and there's also a porch back there that we picked up all that water that's a lot of water that comes off of that roof and it's been flooding you know back in their backyard plus all the water coming from the hill they have a retaining wall but it didn't do much to you know really slow the water so now they've got a great system installed and should last for years and years okay so we've got this installed covered up backfilled remember that's your trench your excess soil is going to settle this was pretty deep this was about knee deep down through here so this is really going to settle down through here and when you're digging when it's wet you're going to have some clumpy soil don't worry about it it still settles you can see we've got a catch space in there catch space in there remember we've got gravel perforated pipe underneath of here another catch basin the line continues around all the way hooked up the downspouts took our some of our excess and graded this off so that it comes into the trench this is all gravel perforated pipe down through here so that water should drop right into the system and hopefully this takes care of the water that's been flooding into this patio area uh, when it rains you know I saw this and it's just underwater so now the water has a place to go should be able to take care of that pretty well over here on the other side we're going to probably do some more work in the future maybe another gravel perforated pipe through here pick up the downspout come around and tie into this downspout drain I cleaned this this morning this line runs over right out to that natural area so that's working good so a job you can do yourself expect to be a little sweaty but all really a good day's work 
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Thank you.